How's it going everyone, College Lefty, and in this video I have for you guys some more of the event highlights. This is the live series Bats event highlights, and uh, I went with a little bit of a different team in this video. I have Acuna, Gallo, Story, Donaldson, George Springer, Carlos Correa, Lorenzo Cain, and Gary Sanchez. I In the previous video that I uploaded, I was using a little bit of a different team. This was actually like my third or fourth entry into the event. I had about... Uh, I would say like 13 or 14 wins after my live stream and I wanted to go ahead and try and finish off this event this was the first event that I actually got to play through all the way besides the Kendry's Morales that was only like four wins for his reward uh, this is the first event that I actually played through all the way and played the 25 wins so I will be going through a highlight video of that right here so the opponent started off the game with a home run from Josh Donaldson I was able to respond with the home run of my own there with Ronald Acuna Definitely one of the better cards for me in this event. I was using him at the leadoff spot. I was using him at the cleanup spot, the three spot. Mix in Joey Gallo in there as he uh, also hits one out, no doubter. I was also mixing in Joey Gallo at the leadoff spot as well. Just in case I was going up against a common pitcher, I figured I would use Joey Gallo to my advantage in that situation. But later on in this game, I was able to string together a few base hits. I do have the bases loaded. In this situation and I uh, wasn't able to capitalize there but I did get something going later on in the game the opponent is responding with the double in the gap from the live series Robinson Cano I noticed quite a bit of people were using this Robinson Cano and the uh, collection for the Yankees Robinson Cano is also a very good card as well but there with Joey Gallo once again I got under that one and I sent it out to center field I thought it was gonna be to the warning track but the opponent probably had a chance to rob that one. It does go over the fence there, making it a 4-1 to one game. And later in this one, Josh Donaldson's going to send one deep. That's going to be uh, what I thought was going to be a home run. It's going to stay in play. It bounces over the wall for a ground roll double. And that kind of got the hit parade going a little bit. I mean, I was able to string together a couple extra base hits. I got to capitalize on that error. I mean, no lead is safe in this event. I've given up a lot of runs in this event. A lot of the games I lost were low scoring close games or absolute blowout slug fest games where you had to score five six seven eight runs that that's what i kind of talked about in my previous video as well but uh, carlos correa is going to send one into the gap that's going to be extra bases for a double this game got out of hand a little bit seven to one but this opponent wasn't going down without a fight he had a couple guys on base and had something cooking i was able to get the dub there and now we'll go ahead and jump right into another game. This opponent has a very good team in uh, Acuna, Jock Peterson, Trevor Story, Josh Donaldson, Daniel Murphy, Joey Gallo, Cano, and JT Romito. So definitely a few lefties there at the bottom of his order. And a guy in JT Romito who doesn't necessarily hit lefties all that great. But to start the game off, I am ripping a late base hit, an extra base hit from Ronald Acuna. I mean, I'm facing a common pitcher. That was definitely a late swing. It was also a fastball, which Acuna does have that quirk. But nonetheless, it was definitely uh, a late swing. I mean, I probably shouldn't have been rewarded for that, especially with the double. But later on in the inning, I was hitting into a double play, and I wasn't able to uh, score any runs there. I wasn't able to get anything going. Kind of killed my rally. But uh, later on in the game, George Springer is going to pull that one to the left field. Bleachers, that's going to be sent out off the wall over there for a home run. Nice no doubter from George Springer there on that slider inside. I uh, sat on it. This is the Taylor Clark, the Tops Now version pitching. He goes to another breaking ball low in the zone. I pulled that one with Correa as well. Hit back-to-back -back solo shots. That's nice to uh, to take an early lead in this one, a three-inning game. I guess there isn't uh, an early or late lead. You try and get the try and score every inning. You try and get something going every possible inning. Have good at bats. You don't want to give away too many outs in the shortened games. But there, Joey Gallo is going to expand the lead to 4 nothing. I figured this opponent was also going to hit a little bit. Luckily, I was able to uh, expand the zone. And uh, he started to swing at more pitches that were borderline balls or strikes. And uh, bottom of the third inning, I also had the Taylor Clark in to pitch, the Diamondbacks version. And I hung that one. That was a fastball over the middle of the plate. I missed it with the meter. But Lorenzo Cain is going to be able to make the play out there in center field. Solid outfielder, solid player for me in this event. I also enjoyed using Kevin Kiermeyer. I uh, mixed it up a little bit when in, in terms of outfielders. I was using Nelson Cruz out there in the outfield. Now I have Springer out there. For the most part, the core of my team in Gallo, Trevor Story, Gary Sanchez, guys like that, and Acuna, I couldn't take some of those guys out. I had to stick with those guys. Those are my better hitters in this event. 
And uh, those are my guys that were producing runs. Here we have Josh Donaldson up at the plate with bases loaded. And I'm going to send that one out. That's going to be pulled into the gap, the left center field gap for a grand slam. It gets just over the wall there and might have bounced off the second wall out there and left. But that is going to be a grand slam. This opponent got a little greedy there. He was trying to steal second base. And I am able to get the out. I'm, he's down by a few runs in the third inning down to his last few outs. He really needs all the base runners he can get. He shouldn't be even trying to steal second and get into scoring position. Even with one out, I mean, if he hits into a double play, that's it. That's the game. But he needs to get a rally going. He needs to hit a home run or at least an extra base hit or something to get the guy in scoring position. He doesn't really need to steal because he is down four runs. That runner doesn't really mean anything. But I was able to get the dub there. Now we move up. I think I was at about 7-0 on this run, 6 or 7-0 on this run. And in the previous run, I had gotten to nine wins before I lost out on my run. I uh, got to about six, seven wins, lost a game, won a couple, made it to nine wins, and then lost another game. So hopefully I can finish off this run, get the Jorge Posada at 25 wins, and finish it off with the 12, a 12 win event run. That would be nice. But the opponent is starting this game off with the ball off the wall, and then Lorenzo Kane is unable to field it. He's going to be going for an inside the park home run, and he gets it there. Uh, the play at the plate was a little bit too late. I had a trouble. I had trouble getting the ball in from center field, and that was going to be a uh, inside the park home run. So one hit, one homer to lead off the game for the opponent. There with Trevor Story, I was able to square that one up and send it into the gap. However, it was did not have the the right launch angle in order to send that one out for a home run. Only hit 98 miles an hour off the bat, but definitely a squared up pitch. I had a chance to. Uh, Score this run though with Josh Donaldson and I rolled over, grounded out to third base. Unfortunate, but later on in the game, uh, Lorenzo Kane's going to smack one to left field. He pulled that one. I got a great exit velocity on that one. I was all over it. Squared that one up as well. Might have even been a little early on that one. But uh, nonetheless, it was a double. I do have a chance to uh, tie up the game or even take the lead there as Gary Sanchez sends one to right field. To the warning track, that's not going to be enough. And I wasn't able to clutch that one out. I ended up losing that game. And uh, one nothing. that's the way it goes sometimes, but I'll move into the next one. If I was earlier in my run, I probably would have forfeited the run out, made a new team, and started up again. I tried to at least get to about six or seven, maybe even eight wins before losing a game. But uh, anyway, I'm about seven and one, eight and one, and now I'm going up against another good player. I started off this game with the home run from Trevor Story with two outs already in the inning. Very important way to uh, break the game open a little bit. He left his common pitcher in there, a few batters too many, and I was able to hit back-to-back -back shots there, one with Donaldson and one with Story. But anyway, the opponent is not going down without a fight. Later on in the game, he ties it up with Wilson Ramos pulling the home run there to left field. Wilson Ramos destroys lefties. I left in my left-handed pitcher, one too many batters myself. I got a little greedy. I was trying to to minimize my relief pitchers and um, just in case this game went extra innings he tied it up anyway and now I'm gonna have to uh, try and take the lead back I was able to get a, something going a little bit there with Lorenzo Kane and uh, Gary Sanchez hits a two-run shot so I was able to win that last game now we're in a different game up three to two in the top of the third inning and I was able to get the strikeout here to end the next one I wanted to try and piece together as many clips as possible and I just had the ending of that one. That was a good game. I was able to get a three-run lead, and the opponent was chipping chipping away. He kind of fought back there in the third inning, making it a 3-2 to two game. I ran out of clips, or else I would have had more of that one. But I wanted to show you guys that I was indeed at nine wins. We are at 9-1 and one on this run. You guys did see the loss, and now we are going up against another great team. We have the same starting pitcher on the mound. He has Ronald Acuna, Corey Seager, Nelson Cruz, a bunch of the same guys I do. And to start the game off, he leaves his lefty, Tony Singrani, in to face Trevor Story. Trevor Story was playing way up on inside edge against lefties. And I squared that one up, hit a no-doubter the opposite field. I kind of got another rally started as Correa sends a bloop single into left field. I was a little bit early on that pitch away. I believe it was a cutter. And I kind of squared it up. Yeah, facing Danny Farquhar, definitely a cutter away. And uh, same thing there, he th throws another cutter away, and I don't know what happened with his outfielder there in right field. Miss fields it, miss plays it, ball goes all the way to the wall. I scored two runs, and I have another guy in scoring position, and he probably would have been out of the inning right there. He quit out of it, and I was able to get the dub, so now we move up to 10 wins, two wins away. 
from a diamond. I'm looking to include all the footage in this gameplay. I'm trying to piece together all these clips and um, get this 12 win diamond. So we're playing at Fenway. I'm facing the Chris uh, Volstad pitcher who I struggled a little bit with on my first run. I faced a guy who was using this same pitcher and the sinker for this specific pitcher got on me a little bit. This was happening during the live stream. I ended up taking the loss. The guy pitched like two innings against me. And this time around, I was ready for him. Uh, facing the same guy, I was expecting the sinker that looked a little bit harder than what he was actually throwing. I was reacting a little bit better. I had some good at-bats. And um, here I have a chance to break the game open. Up one already with Joey Gallo hitting that one off the wall. He's able to manufacture something. And I hit into a double play. But he throws it into left field. That's going to be a crucial error. I'm able to score with Joey Gallo, and I have two guys in scoring position. And now I have uh, Carlos Correa up at the plate. He's going to send that one into the gap, so that's going to clear the bases as well. That's going to be another couple runs. I'm feeling pretty good about this one. Hopefully I can get to 11-1 and one, as long as I can clutch this one out. But uh, this opponent just continues to leave in this common pitcher, 12 pitches in. I'm looking to continue to hit him. I mean... I'm going to send as many base hits as I can through the hole. It's going to be extremely tough for him to get an out because he does have a common pitcher on the mound with low confidence. He's given up some runs. He's lower on stamina. It's a shortened game, and he's already kind of tough to pitch with to begin with. So that play is probably made for an out. I hit a line drive that was out of reach for the shortstop there. Kind of had a weird reaction. But five to, five to nothing, and I'm continuing to uh, send base hits. Then he misses one with his right fielder. Just unfortunate for the opponent. At this point, I'm not going to just concede the inning. I'm trying to make sure I get to this uh, this next game. I'm trying to make sure I get to 11-1, and one, playing for a diamond reward. I mean, that's really what you play the event for anyway. Uh, event is a little bit easier to get to 12 wins than it is in Battle Royale, in my opinion just because uh, you can kind of build your team, you make your own lineup, and you don't have to rely on a draft. But there I was able to send one out to uh, to make it a nine nothing game. I ended up scoring 10 runs in that last game. And now I'm playing for a 12 win diamond reward at 11 and one. It is a do or die situation. This opponent was definitely a good player. I recognize his PSN from pre previous years. I think we've matched up before. There I was getting a late hit to lead off this inning with Josh Donaldson. It's a horrible way to, to start the inning off in terms of for the opponent because it was a late double. But in this type of a game, I will absolutely take a late hit for sure. Uh, considering I can easily lose on one swing of the bat. I was unable to make a productive out there. I had one out in the inning and I pinch ran for jo Josh Donaldson. I brought in a guy with 89 speed. That way if I did hit a base hit, I would have been able to score him. That run was very important. But uh, with Taylor Clark in the game, the opponent is going to send out a home run. A little bit of a late swing. I think it was a just late swing. He hits a homer there, and I end up losing it. But thank you guys so much for watching. I did get the Jorge Posada, and I uh, just wanted to say that I had a lot of fun playing this event run. I enjoyed it. It was I wasn't able to clutch that victory out. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'm College Lefty, and have a nice day. Peace.